Hey, this is Willie with Neck Your Business. Welcome to the Business Break. We have a new addition to our Smart Manage Switches lineup, the Gigabit PoE Plus Smart Manage Pro Switch GS724 TPV2. We created this switch to make Gigabit Ethernet and PoE Plus more cost-effective for the companies that converge data, voice, and data onto a single network. There are a lot of great things to talk about this switch, but today I'm going to focus on PoE budget and the possible applications of PoE devices. PoE devices are powered by their connection to their PoE switch. Each switch has a maximum amount of power that it can provide, the PoE budget, and each port of the switch has a maximum amount of power that it can provide as well. For example, the PoE standard allows 15.4 watts per port. The newer standard PoE Plus can give one port 30 watts per hour. There is something called UPoE and that allows 60 watts to a single port, but that's not an official standard yet, so you can watch out for it in the future. The GS724 TPV2 has a total power budget of 190 watts, so that means we can fit 23 PoE devices that have a total power demand of less than 190 watts into this switch. 23, not 24, because one of the ports is reserved for the internet connection or the router connection. PoE devices are categorized into four classes. The first class have a very low power demand. A total of four watts should be allocated per port for first class devices. The most common first class devices are IP phones. Second class PoE devices have low power demands with a total of seven watts per port. The most common second class devices are IP cameras. Third class PoE devices have a medium power demand at 15.4 watts per port. Video IP phones and wireless access points are the more common third class devices. At fourth class, devices enter a whole new standard, PoE Plus, allowing 30 watts per port. The most common PoE Plus devices are pan tilt zoom IP cameras and multi-band 11N Wave 2 wireless access points. When designing your network with PoE, you will need to make some considerations on what devices you need, and you'll need to make some calculations on those devices' power demands and your switch's power budget. Using the GS724 TPV2 and its 190 watt power budget, let's do a quick example of a PoE network setup for a building that would need a lot of security. First thing, we have to reserve one port for the router or internet connection. Now we'll start off with three pan tilt zoom IP cameras at the fourth class, so that will make a total of 90 watts. Now we'll have 10 IP cameras. These are at the much lower second class, so 10 cameras will only take up 70 watts. The building must have Wi-Fi, so we'll add an access point at 15.4 watts since it's third class. And we'll add a couple first class IP phones for 8 watts. There's plenty of ports left, and we can add some non-POE connections as well. I'll just add a ready NAS. With all that, we have 18 out of 24 ports being filled and 183.4 watts out of 190 watts being used. Thanks for watching. I hope that was educational and or entertaining. If you have any questions, comments, send a message, leave a comment. Until next time.